I have one last video for you to help you with the end stage of your chair project. This is where you are going to be separating the bodies out of your master file, reassembling them into an assembly file, and creating an exploded configuration. I'm recording this in a hurry, so I'm sure I'm going to be stumbling over my words here and there, so please bear with me. What I'm going to do is use as an example this leg assembly that is used for the egg chair. It's actually a part file, rather, that has multiple bodies in it. One body is for the cross-shaped legs, another is for the post, and the last body is for one of the feet that goes on the end of the legs. In order to make an assembly file, I need to get these three bodies into their own separate part files. Before I do that, I just want to talk about why I selected this particular example to show you how to do this process. Normally, what I'm expecting you would have is one part file that has all of the bodies in it that would make your chair with the exception of the screws and nuts and bolts. So that would mean you would have the seat, you'd have any legs, you would have any feet, uh, any sort of other structures that hold everything together. So pretend that this file would also have the egg chair seat on top of these legs, but I picked something very simple here in order to make this video as short as possible. So the process for separating these bodies into their own part files is to first make a new or open a new part file. And what I'm going to do is insert a part into a part. I'm going to be treating the file we were just looking at as a master file and we're going to insert that master file into this new file. So I'm going to say insert part and I have this part open in session so it's going to give that as an option for uh, inserting into this file and if I don't have anything open at the time I'm going to have to browse to it. So I'm going to pick this egg chair legs master and what I want to do is just check on the check mark here. I don't want to drag this somewhere in the window and drop it in an arbitrary location. I also need to make sure that I do not have perspective turned on or the part will not drop in the proper location. So I plop this into place and what it's going to do is mate or locate the origin of the master file with the origin of this new file. And we can see as the first feature in the feature tree is egg chair legs master. I'm going to edit this for a moment. And we also need to make sure that what gets brought over are the solid bodies that were created in the master file. I don't think you're going to need any of these other items like planes or axes and so on. So I'm just going to make this plain white so I can see it a little more clearly. So I want to start with a post here. I want to save a part that is just the post and nothing else. So what I do is I go into Tools, I'm sorry, go into Insert, Feature, Delete, Keep Body, and I want to keep just this one body. That gets rid of all the rest. So here's my post. What I can do then is say Save As, and I want to make sure this gets saved in the same folder that my master was in. So I'm going to browse to that proper folder. I made this folder earlier for the purpose of this tutorial. And here it is. Right now it's a folder that has nothing but the master. And I'm going to save this as the post. And here we see now that this is the post file and I need to repeat this process. So what I could do is start another new file and then insert my egg chair master again and then save the foot or the legs. Or I could save myself a little bit of time by simply going back to this body delete keep feature, editing it, 
And instead of keeping the post, I'm going to clear this field and I'm going to save the foot instead. So this is still the post file, but if I say file, save as, and I say foot, now this is the foot file. And then finally, I'm going to do this again by editing the keep delete feature. Clear this out. And I'll just uh, resave this one more time using the save as. And I'll call this legs. If we look at the folder that contained the legs master and where I've saved all my new parts into, we see in that folder I've got the master, one foot, the legs, and the post. And I recommend that you do the same as I did, was that you create a special folder that's going to contain only these parts. Don't get it mixed up with a bunch of other stuff or previous versions that you had been creating. If you saw my earlier video on how to download hardware from the McMaster Car website, I did that ahead of time and I downloaded some screws to hold the feet on and to attach the post to the legs. So those are in my downloads file. So now I have everything that I need to build up this assembly. To put all these parts back together as separate parts in an assembly file, I'll go to File, New, Assembly, And the legs happen to be open in session at the moment, so I'm just going to click on legs. And I don't want to just plop these down anywhere. I'm going to just hit the green check mark, and the origin of the legs will end up on the origin of this assembly. So here's the origin of my legs, and here's the origin of the assembly. Now I can browse to the other parts that I've made and drop those into place. So I'll just do an insert components. Now I have to browse for the other ones. And the next part I'm going to grab is going to be the post. And again, I'm not going to just plop this into place in some arbitrary location. I'll click on the green check mark. The post is dropped in its proper location. And then finally, insert one more time. Browse. And I'll go for the foot. Green check mark. And everything is in its place, just like you saw when they were bodies within a single part file. This assembly is not complete, of course. I need four feet, and I need the screws that hold the feet on and the screw that holds the post onto the legs. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a screw here and a screw here, and then I can pattern the extra parts. So insert components, browse, and I want the M4 screw to hold the foot in place, and I'll just make a coincident relation between that countersink and this flathead. And we see that pops right into place. And I need to grab an M8 screw to put into here, so insert components, browse, and here's my M8 screw. Drop that into some arbitrary location so that I can then mate this conical surface with this conical countersink. And those are attached together. Now if I turn on my temporary axes, there should be an axis going right through the post. Otherwise, I can create an axis by making an intersection between the front plane and the right plane. But what I'm going to do now is make a circular component pattern. 
I will select this temporary axis and the components I want to pattern are going to be the foot and the screw. I need four of those total and that will drop those into the proper location. Let's turn off the axes and so there we've got a completed uh, legs assembly. Of course, if this is a full chair, we would also have the seat on top and any cushions that go along with that and any hardware that holds that together. So we've got a full assembly now, and I think I'd better save it before I do something that will cause me to lose my work. So file, save as, and we'll just call this legs underscore ASM. Save that. And my final procedure I need to do here is make an exploded view of this assembly. So I want to find an orientation that I think is going to look good for my assembly because I'm going to be rendering this later on. So that looks kind of nice and if I want to save that orientation I can hit my space bar, click on new view, and type in um, exploded view or something like that. So if for some reason I lose this orientation, I can always get back to this view. So if we go into our Configurations tab, we have our default configuration here. And what we want to do is add to the default a, an exploded configuration. So I right-click on this and say New Exploded View. And we have the box here for the explode steps. What I like to do is explode things in groupings. So, um, and then keep exploding the groupings until everything is separated. So I'll first start, in this case, just with the post and move it upward away from the legs. So that's a pretty good distance there. And then I want to move the feet along with their screws downward. So that's going to be the next step. So I'm going to turn this this way so I can see those items. So I'm going to grab, now you see what I did was I wasn't actually in the next step so it started to grab that foot and move it the same direction as the post. So I got to delete that and say done so that it's ready for the next step finally. So I can grab my foot, screw, foot, screw, foot, screw, and foot, and screw. Now if I went to this tab here, I'd be able to see or open up my feature tree here in the graphic area. I'd be able to see these parts also, and I could have selected them from this list here. So I've selected a bunch of feet and a bunch of screws. I'm going to go back to my exploded view to get my orientation back and I've got this arrow that lets me pull everything down and you notice that one of the screws didn't come along it would have been this one here so I'm just going to add that to the list actually that's the wrong screw you notice that's the middle screw but we'll go ahead and let that one come down anyway and I'm missing one of the screws so it must be part of the pattern and I'm missing this screw and apparently this screw as well. And so the screws and the feet all came down together. So I'll scroll down here, say done. So step number two is finished. It's ready for step number three. And I want to continue exploding the screws one more time so that they are separated from the feet. So this would be the M4 screw here. and the M4 screws that are in this circular pattern. So I'll just select them from here, this one, this one, and this one. For some reason I always have to double click when I do that. And then I'll drag the arrow down again and we can see those screws separating apart from the feet. And we say done. So that has taken four steps to get us to that. So we've got Four feet separated from the legs. You can just barely see one foot over here. 
And then we've got the screws holding the feet on further exploded. At the same time we exploded the feet, we exploded the center M4 screw, and our very first explosion was to move the post out of the way. So the one thing that did not move in this explosion was the main legs themselves. So that should be done. Hit the green check mark. And we see here that on the default, we've got a little pull down, which shows we have an exploded view. And if I right click on that, I can collapse. That brings me back again. Click on that explode, or I can say animate explode. We see it very slowly come apart. Collapse and file save. And that's all you have to do to make the exploded view. So you can get through all these steps actually almost quicker than it took me to explain them. Good luck.